This is part 4 on solving your V-Cube 7 tutorial. Now, so far you have solved some of the edge pieces, all of the centers, and you're almost done. Now, to solve the rest of the edges, now let's find an almost complete piece right there. Orange and blue. Now you're going to find another orange and blue piece, which is right there. Now, as you can see, it, this is orange over blue, and this is blue over orange. So you're going to need to flip it so that it's correct. Now, you can put it up there. So that three by three bar, rotate it, put a random piece right there, and rotate it back down. Now, you have a three by three bar. You just need to find the rest of it. Find the other pieces right there. Rotate it, flip it. Now, well, you can't turn it to the right because of this full bar, so you're going to turn it to the left. Put, pull that up there, bring it down because we bring a piece, and you're almost done with that piece of the bar. Now, this is blue over orange. This is orange over blue, so you're going to need to flip this so that it's correct. there. Orange over blue, orange over blue. We'll take that up. But, as you can see, there's a finished bar right there. So you're going to need to turn this in there. Now there's not. Rotate it, pull that up, put it in the piece there, and rotate it back down. So now, you have complete bar, complete bar, complete bar. You didn't mess any of them up while you did all of that. So you're going to finish all the edges, and I'm just going to do this right now. And you can watch to see if you find any more examples that you need. Otherwise, you can just fast forward to part 5 if you want, which is solving the last um, two edges in solving the V-Cube 7. Oh, piece almost popped right there. Sounded bad. Hmm. Well, be careful, because you could pop a piece and that could seriously hurt your speed cubing, speed cubing time. Now, as you can see, there are two complete edges um, edge right there, so you can't move this up, move it to the right or the left. So you can you move it up, move this down, or up, so that you have random piece right there. And move it back down. Now, you have a complete bar, and you didn't mess any of the other pieces up. Now all you need to do is finish the rest of the cube, the rest of the edges, sorry, with the cube, I'm crazy. Okay, I guess you're getting really bored with watching me right now, so go ahead on to part five.